Well, hi, hi everyone. I thought I'd show you around my most recent Facebook purchase. I was on the other night and I saw a good deal on a rooftop tent. I thought that would be a cool addition to the Land Cruiser project that I've also picked up, which I'll introduce you to in another video. So there's our rooftop tent right there. Pretty cool, wasn't a bad price. Uh, it was a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but the cool part was that underneath it was a free Volvo. So that was a good deal. I'll show you what we ended up with. So obviously it wasn't completely free. The rooftop tent up there is a cheapie, but they're still not that cheap. And I got the whole package for only about $600 more than the brand new cost of the rooftop tent itself. And it is, whilst it's not new, it's in very good condition. It's as new, there's no problems with it. And uh, we've already used it and tested it and it works great. So happy with the deal we got. And as I say, came with a free car. It's actually really, really straight. It's got uh, aftermarket wheels and tires that are pretty new. The, um, it was sold with a bad misfire. Uh, the guy didn't want to put any more money into it, but he did give me a whole bunch of the service history. And it looks like somebody's cared about it in the past. And so I'm hopeful that we might be able to sort out some problems with this and turn it back into a bit of a daily driver. So as I say, it was on its way out and the guy didn't know what to do with it. It's running like a pig, barely pulls up the hills, got a whole bunch of engine codes. But I got it for less than scrap value. So coming inside, the story's about the same. It's really not that bad. Could be a lot worse, I've seen a lot worse. The interior, it's old, it's dirty, it doesn't look very good in photos and videos, but it actually isn't that bad in person. It's a seven seater, which is always good, all wheel drive. We've got a sunroof that works. Most things in here work, as I say, the heater doesn't, and a few other bits and pieces. There's certainly some weekend projects here if we want to, but it, uh, we won't do much to it until we can see if we can get it running properly again. If we can't do that, then it might not be worth investing the time and money in the other things. But if we can get it running, then uh, we might throw a bit of elbow grease into everything else. But uh, yeah, should be a good little beater for somebody if we can get it running nice. So that's, that's gonna be our first project. I think we'll get stuck into it. As I say, we'll read those codes, try and work out what's going on. All right, so here we are under the hood. I thought I'd finish this video with a bit of a win. The guy told me the heater doesn't work and um, the fans stay on after it runs. What we noticed when we looked under here was our coolant was not in the coolant bottle. I filled it up now. Unfortunately, I didn't catch this on video because it kind of caught me by surprise and it was a bit of a shock, but it actually took around a gallon of coolant, about four liters of coolant to fill it right up. And guess what? When you put coolant in the cooling system, it's amazing. The heater works and the overheating fan doesn't kick in. So half of the issues that this problem, that this motor's having, I reckon is gonna come down to silly things like that and poor maintenance and neglect the poor old girl. I think if anybody had driven it much at all, it would have blown her up. But we saved her just in time. And so, as I say, we've got some hope for her and hopefully, uh, we will uh, be able to get this girl up and going properly again for ourselves or someone else to enjoy. So here we are, welcome to the latest member of the family. Not sure what to call her yet. If you guys have any ideas, I'd love to hear from you. Throw it in the comments, tell me what you think we should name her. And as Cohen says, subscribe. See you next time.